What's up guys, so a few days ago Microsoft released a beta for Windows 8, their new operating system. Um, so I s installed it on my Windows partition and that took like a whole day. My gosh, if you ever want to resize your partition, it is the worst thing you could possibly do. Oh my gosh, well, that's a different story though. Um, so anyways, this is the Windows 8 beta preview thing. So this is basically the start menu. It has all your basic apps, and it serves as like a dashboard for when you start your computer. You have everything like right here in one place. It's kind of like on the Windows Phone, where it's the same basic interface with the little squares and, and then your apps or whatever. I know you can get new apps from the Windows Store, and you can add them onto here. And you can also, um, like from other applications, I added Google Chrome down here, as you can see. But for now, I don't know if the Windows Store is even on... Windows 8 beta yet. I haven't checked, but if it is, you can get new apps and you can add them to your dashboard. If you don't like the dashboard, you always have the usual desktop from Windows 7. Basically the exact same thing, but there's no start menu, which is kind of a big change because they've never had that. They've always had that in all the previous window win versions of Windows, so taking that out is kind of a big deal. It's basically replaced with this start menu, pretty much, I think is what they're getting at. So, let's get into some of these apps. First, there's Internet Explorer. I think this is Internet Explorer 10, is what their, their idea here is. Um, I prefer Google Chrome any day over any browser. I make fun of people who use Internet Explorer because it's just so bad. Um, this one is kind of an improvement, but still, I mean, I just, I love Google Chrome, and this really isn't the same, it's just another thing to get used to and I really don't want to. So, I don't know, that's cool for people who like it, um, do you like Internet Explorer. And it also has it in the other window, so you can view on desktop, and it just opens it up in here, in the desktop. It doesn't have to be inside of the app. Not all apps in the start menu can do that, but some of them can. So if you just like, if you prefer it like that, then you can always switch to that. Let's see what else. There's the Stocks app. I just thought this was really cool and a really awesome way to present data. I don't really care about the Stocks at all. I don't have any Stocks in any company. But I just thought this was a, like an amazing interface for presenting all this data. So first you have like a news story on the first page and then some basic stuff down here. Uh, and then you can go to the side and you can get a graph and then more articles and then more just data at a glance of important stuff. Um, so I just thought that was a really cool interface of presenting all this. And I just I just thought that was cool. That's just me. Um, what else? Let's see. They have the Maps app. Um, I don't know why you, would, why you would need this because we have browsers for this, web browsers. And you can see basically everything you can see in here. Honestly, if I actually used Windows 8, I'm not going to use this more than my Mac operating system. I prefer Mac any day, um, but that's a different story. Uh, I would just use a browser to look at this. I would I would completely forget about this app because I could just open it in a browser and I don't have to open a separate application. That's just too much of a hassle for me. Also, if you've been noticing, I've been going to the bottom left corner to go to back to the start menu. And if you go back up, you can see all the apps you've recently opened, so you can easily switch between them. And I don't know, it's just a, an easy way of switching between apps. And um, it's just like a cool, intuitive interface. And they have the same thing on the right, where you have, well, it's not the same, but you go to the bottom right corner, or I think the top right as well, and then you go down, and you, can, you have the option to search to your entire thing, so if I do like um, settings, oh no, that didn't work, <laughs> um, but basically you can search for stuff, uh, my bad for it not working, I don't know, okay, um, so you can search for stuff, you can share, you can go back to the start, uh, and you can see your devices and settings, this is a really cool settings interface, if you go to more PC settings, it just it's kind of like control panel except just a different setup for it. I thought it was it it looks really nice. Um, I don't know if it has all the settings that control panel does, but I don't know. It it's just a really cool interface for it, pretty much. Let's see what else. Uh, I think that's it for the biggest changes. Um, I don't know really about all the other features. I haven't really looked into that. 
But I don't know, that's just my first run through of Windows 8, my first impressions. Hopefully you guys try it out or get a better picture by looking at this video of what it's really like. As I said, I'm not going to be switching over to this. It's not anything to run after that's that amazing or whatever. But I don't know. I like where Windows is going with this. I think it's definitely an improvement from Windows 7. I don't know about the start menu, though. I think they should have kept that. I don't know. A lot of people are saying that some people actually don't care, really. But I don't know. It's just something that I've been used to for so long for using Windows. But I guess that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, give it a like. And see you next time. Okay, so this is the second time this has happened. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I hate this crap. Whatever.